when you joined this team in December at winter meetings that you wanted to play meaningful games in September of October. Can you describe the satisfaction to know you're heading to the postseason for the first time? Uh, so much fun. Just, uh, ow, burn so good. The, uh, battling with these guys all season. Just uh, going through the ups and downs and just knowing the ultimate goal. Um, you know, we got a long way to go. We're going to enjoy this now and, you know, uh, make sure we get it. What did you expect joining this team, and how have those expectations changed since you've been here? Uh, expect the best. Expect the best for me. Expect the best. <laughs> expect the best for my guys and, you know, just go out and compete and, um, you know, get, give it our all, really. When you see Tampa Bay losing, is there any doubt in your mind that you guys are getting it done today? Um, I don't pay attention to them losing. I was just worried about getting this win tonight, and we got to go day by day, uh, and that's what this postseason is going to be about. That's what the rest of the season is going to be about, and just execute day by day. What are you most looking forward to in this postseason? Uh, going after it. The best of the best. Uh, um, who's going to step up? Who, um, what's going to happen? Little little mistakes, little uh, positives are going to be the difference in the series. This is the first time for you. Are you enjoying this part of it right now? Absolutely, absolutely. This is what it's all about, you know. Um, like I said, we worked all year, um, and we got more work to do. John Carlo, thanks for the time. Yeah, no problem. We'll send it back to you. Meredith, <laughs> thank you. Nice way to wrap up that interview there with John Carlo. Uh, good for him. I mean, couldn't get to the postseason with the Marlins. 0 for 5 today, but celebrating as he tries to find his groove here over the next week and a half. Yeah, this has to be refreshing for him, Bob, because of what you just said. Spending his entire career with the Marlins and never having a taste of postseason, never having a taste of important September games. I remember when the Yankees executed this trade, and you, myself, Meredith, John Flaherty, we interviewed John Carlos Stanton, and one of the first things out of his mouth was about how coming to the Yankees, he hoped that he had the chance to get to the postseason. He's there now, but you're right. He needs to get back to where he was earlier this season. He struggled lately, had the Grand Slam the other night, but I think he's caught in between a little bit offensively. He's got these final eight games to get him to where he wants to be for the postseason. You know, you wonder if a moment like that that he's watching and participating in in the clubhouse re-energizes him in a way. Not that I'm saying that's what it would take to get Stanton going, but he sort of has a different feel maybe over the next week and a half. Yeah, I think you want to celebrate again. Every player in that clubhouse, especially some of them who've never experienced that before. And Stanton is a game changer. I know he has struggled across the last three, three and a half weeks, but remember when Judge went down for the first half of Judge's injury, Stanton was carrying the Yankees. This is a guy who can go up there and do damage. Look for him to be able to hit the ball the opposite way. When he's going the opposite way, it's a signal that he's got his swing where it needs to be. So he's enjoying this celebration. And then you take it to the other end of the spectrum, the rookies that are in that clubhouse, specifically Miguel Andujar, Glaber Torres, knowing that they were a big part, Jack, of pulling that rope throughout the season to get the team to this point. Right. The Yankees' 2018 story is not finished yet. But whenever that story is written, some of those earliest chapters, you better devote them to Glaber Torres and Miguel Andujar. Two rookies who didn't start the season with the team, but they've certainly ended it with the team, and they've been energizers for the Yankees, just sliding into their positions, becoming entrenched, and becoming so important to what the Yankees have accomplished and what they're still trying to accomplish. Just solid at-bats from both of them. I think the Yankees are targeting to have those two guys in the lineup, oh, I don't know, the next 10 or 15 years. And just a quick pop for Andujar another multi-hit game today. He is a machine when it comes to that. Yeah, Bob, in talking to him at the stadium yesterday about his aggressive approach and about what he's been able to do this season, you can just see how comfortable he is. And he goes up there with not a lot of flaws in his swing and the ability to just jump on whatever pitch a, pitch is a pitcher is trying to get past him. All right.